Hello, this is MakerJ101, and I've gotten a lot of questions, especially after I made my boiler out of a propane tank, um, asking how do you make sure that there's no propane left in the tank before you drill holes in it and cut it and stuff so that it doesn't blow up. Well, um, this is one way to do it. Well, there's probably a couple ways to do it, but I feel like if you just start drilling holes in it, as long as you drill slow and add a little bit of water to the drill bit just as it's breaking through, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't have a problem. Um, I would still empty the rest of the gas out, but because there's no oxygen inside the tank, there's really a small chance for it to explode, but still for those people who are par paranoid out there, this is uh, one way that you can um, make sure it can't explode. So there's a little valve right here, which is actually a pressure relief valve. This is the valve which um, you uh, get propane out. Um, so anyways, what I have here, so the first thing you, you should do is just empty all the gas out by pushing in the... Uh, pushing in the little thing here, which this one's already empty. Um, that's how the, when you screw attachment on there, there's a part that pushes down in there to release the propane. So as you can see, I'm pushing it down and there's no propane coming out. So this one's definitely empty, no question about it. Then I made this little tool here. This is just a piece of, uh, I believe this is like one, I mean, where's my calipers here? I don't remember what size this is. Uh, it's 0.2 inches or how many millimeters? Uh, point or about five millimeters. So this is about the perfect size. It's just a random shaft, and I took my angle grinder and cut a slot in the end there. And this works real good as a tool to extract the little valves in here. So as you can see in there, there's a little valve, and this will go down on that valve, and then you can turn this and extract the valve. So like this. Just spin that a couple times, and then you can take your uh, nose pliers, and you can pull the valve out. So that's one valve out. And then what you could do is just fill that up with water, and there's no chance of there being any gas in there anymore. And I can show you that this one here is a little bit harder to pull out because there's a rubber seal in there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out on this one. Yeah rubber seal in there it's just in the way so what you do now is just fill that up with water and you're good to go it's not going to explode so you can assure that there's no gas in there I'll demonstrate the same one on this um, other tank here I can get the cap off okay so first you just make sure there's no gas in there oh, this one had a little bit and then you can take the uh, little pressure relief valve out I believe it's called like a Schrader valve or something like that But this valve, basically, if the propane tank gets too hot, it will release the gas so that it doesn't explode. Because it's a little pressure relief valve. So actually, if you build a boiler, I would actually leave this valve, I would, put, I would reinstall this valve after you do this, because um, it's sort of a backup pressure relief valve, just in case um, your boiler, uh, for some reason, the other check valve that you add doesn't, or um, other... Um, pressure relief valve doesn't release the pressure that this this valve will save you before the tank absolutely blows up and kills you so but yeah these are all empty so now I can uh, cut them with the angle grinder or something and um, yeah and uh, it should be good good and safe all right and just to prove to you guys that this works and it's safe I'm gonna cut it off with the angle grinder so I can turn this into a crucible for aluminum casting That'll do ya. Aluminum casting crucible. That's about it guys. Thanks for watching and keep experimenting.